Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for around the 14th of October 2022 for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So we have number 49, Angel of Love. Let's see what that is about. I am using the Druid, Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. So let's see what we have for Scorpio. Message for our lovely Scorpios, thank you. Okay, Scorpio, we have the Three of Swords, emotional pain, heartbreak, sometimes considering breakups, can be linked with third party situations. Not always. We have the hanged man waiting with the seven of cups. And I have the ten of pentacles. So pain has been caused here. Pain has been caused here, Scorpio. The Three of Swords can be a level of pain, and remember, there's levels to these cards. But something has caused her, and someone is wondering whether to continue in this path with a relationship or break up. This is what that hangman is waiting on. The hangman is all about surrender and be open. Somebody who is completely open, open to look at things from different perspectives different points of view. That is the energy with a hind man. It's about looking at everything from all aspects here to see how you wish to move forward, gain knowledge, wisdom, insight. It's about letting something play out here because somebody isn't quite sure with the Seven of Cups of what to do. Now, the Seven of Cups, I mean, clearly love is asked for here. I feel this this is where you're, someone has caused hurt, pain, and there's a choice to make or decision in terms of how you move forward. The, the Seven of Cups is, there's confusion in which way you want to go. You have options and might even be looking at your options, might even be considering which way do I move forward. Now, if somebody is asking for renewal of relationship here, there's a strong message here, Scorpio, that you're worried whether you can trust this person again. And that could be part of the confusion aspect because there's a strong energy in this reading of someone might have broken your trust. They're wanting to renew it. The Ten of Pentacles can be linked with family or long-term committed relationships, marriage. So this could be a family matter. It could also be in terms of love, romance, relationships. But again, it's, it's the stability that underpins this. And this feels like you're not sure Right now, you're just waiting and seeing. The message is surrender and wait until things become clear. I feel that's what you're being told. Because sometimes these things resolve themselves in the sense that if you've been let down before, or have been hurt before, or if this is a repeating pattern of behavior, then the answer is going to be presented sooner or later. You know, if, if someone's messed up before, they may well mess up again, and that's your answer. That, that releases you from the hangman point of view. So sometimes just waiting and watching it's where situations resolve themselves for others of you this would well be you just wait to see how things play out and you get the information that you need as you wait to see how things play out you continue to assess how it goes until you get enough information to release from that suspension so that's the energy that i'm getting for today it it's a message of it just serves you to surrender and wait let things play out um hold on any decision and choice it feels that kind of energy. I'm going to clarify the hanged man. Clarify the hanged man for Scorpio. Yeah, the devil. The devil is about repeating negative cycles of behavior. And this is what I was talking about here. This feels like you're being told by spirit. Just wait, the situation will resol resolve itself and you'll get your answer. I mean, that's what I'm getting quite clearly. 
sometimes waiting is the best policy because you know sometimes that devil energy is is really about repeating negative cycles somebody who doesn't change that repeating negative cycle of behavior uh, that could be in terms of addiction that could be in terms of controlling behavior manipulative behavior it's codependency physical desire passion but knowing it's not for your highest good addiction problems this is the, i mean the devil can be all of those things but it talks about generally a repeating cycle of behavior if they've done it before they're going to do it again and this is the energy here if somebody is hoping for the best but also just waiting not necessarily even moving forward in any direction they're open but they're waiting to see if someone's going to change well i feel that in the near future spirit is telling you you'll get your answer the situation will resolve itself here just wait what defines us how well what defines us is how well we rise after falling that is your affirmation for the day let's pull a final message i feel you're being told the situation will resolve itself here you'll make up your mind one way or another okay yeah we have squirrel spiritual maintenance be your own caretaker it's interesting with that i've got chameleon soul tribe it is safe to be seen so you know this chameleon energy yeah it can be about some of you saying they may have changed but deep down there's still that chameleon energy you know the chameleon can adapt to their environment can't they it feels like that is that devil energy someone saying i'll change i'll do better i you know and you're giving somebody a chance for the benefit of the doubt this is the energy here where the chameleon is still a chameleon but a strong message with the chameleon of everything will become clear sooner or later so that's what i'm getting for you i hope you enjoyed your reading found it helpful useful if you did please do like share and subscribe i wish you a lovely day i will see you next time